So this is our 2011 Mercedes Sprinter. It's an X ambulance. It's a V6 turbo diesel. Um, done a lot of work since we've had it. Um, so yeah, it's been quite quite the project. As we come around towards the back. Through the side here, the side's the same as well. Open the door. As we step in to the van, we've got a small fridge on the side. It's a brilliant little fridge. Must have been when the medics had their. Um, medical supplies and it had to be chilled and this was excellent. Um, we put a little kitchenette in. It's only a small one um, but yeah certainly does the job. Oh, pardon the mess. Um, so yeah we have a nice little kitchenette. Perfect for two people. Um, this big corner cupboard here. This is the the heart and soul of it is <laughs> a uh, yeah solar panel set up big inverter and all that wiring in there yeah it's a uh, here a sparky's nightmare but um, moving on we have a uh, nice little hot travel buddy perfect for pies and stuff like that pastries when you're on the road, or even um, nice hot roast. Uh, so we put a nice window in as well. We cut the window in there. Um, up top, we've put a Max Air fan in. These fans are brilliant. Would not go without one. Highly recommend them. Um, so we've got a nice wall cupboard there. We were going to take them out, but. The cupboard and the storage space in these things are awesome. And they look nice and sleek and tidy. So yeah. Uh, we also put a shower in. Oh, uh, at the top here we have a um, an exhaust fan. So it um, gets all those nasty smells out when you're in the toilet. And yeah, it also takes all the steam out in the showers. Um, towards the back. We've got more overhead storage coming through here. Um, we've also took out the back window and we've put a big opening window on the back here. So it's a lot of air in. Um, once again, we've got more storage going across here. So it's really cool. Um, then it comes down to our kitchen cupboard. Uh, holds all our plates and uh, pantry stuff like that. Um, under the seat here, a bit more storage. Um, so yeah, great for getting rid of like all the rubbish, chucking all your shoes and just loose items. Then you lift the bed up. And we have all the storage space under here. Perfect for clothes. So it's really good. Um, yeah, so happy we've, we've put a lot of storage under the bed. Um, otherwise, yeah, you'd be putting all your clothes in boxes. But this way, you don't have to hop out. It's all in here. Um, so yeah. Also put a, a sliding fridge in. Uh, it's an 80 litre Waco. Just slides out from underneath your bed, and yeah, perfect. So you don't have to hop out uh, through the night when it's raining. So um, yeah, just grab all your gear and put a uh, nice little burner up here and start cooking away. Um, yeah, little portable gas cooker. So it's really good. 
we also put a full stand-up shower in here as well so this is the shower cubicle uh, so yeah nice big fiberglass one so we have a nice big shower rose um, with their shampoo, conditioner, uh, body wash, yeah, and that's our um, vent that goes out, sucks all the, the smells out, and also the um, all the mist from the shower. So yeah. And as we come back out the doorway. Got a um, another little addition. So we've also put in a pull out gas barbecue um, and also a slide out gas cooker. Yeah, slide out barbecue, little Weber Q. Those Weber Qs are awesome. I can't recommend them highly enough too. Um, also on the back we have a door that we've cut in which holds a 9.5 kilo gas bottle. Um, all fully approved, the gas certified. Um, got a little bench for outside. Perfect for those 5 o'clock somewhere times. Uh, so on top we also have a Yama F Four five times. So yeah. Um, so then in the back, all this door that opens up, let some amazing air through the back here. Um, got a SeaTac charger, which keeps all my batteries charged and power if we never need to use it when we run out of power. Uh, so we've got another battery here. Also got the Waco fridge which slides towards the front. Another big storage area. All our chairs. Then we come around to this door. And this is our garage. Just the few things in here. Just ramps, fuel, um, sockets, screwdriver set, just tools in general. A little air compressor there as well. So, yeah. So overall, um, not a bad little setup. Uh, so we're running uh, four batteries in total on this. Uh, Mercedes. We've got one dedicated battery which is under the passenger seat and we also have uh, two house batteries which are in this little compartment here. So we've got those. Plus the, the one in the back. So we've got three actually. Three household also we have two uh, water tanks underneath the van, um, so yeah, so they're about 80 litres each, so that gives us a total of 160, um, haven't run out of water yet, so um, yeah, heaps of water, um, so yeah, I'll give you a quick look at them underneath. batteries. We're running uh, 600 um, watts of solar on the top of our RV. Um, so yeah, always plenty of power to burn. Uh, we've never ran out yet so uh, I'll see if I can get a photo from up top to see whether we can see them or not.
so not too bad. But that's our Benson. That's our name of our van, Benson. So um, look forward to um, showing you guys more and uh, yeah, hopefully you like this little talk about the van. Um, so yeah, like, subscribe and we'll talk to you soon.